somewhere between emotional and passionate Go. Somewhere between control and never having it Go. Somewhere between the industry and in the streets Go. Somewhere between let's kill them all and keep the peace Everybody talking, everybody gotta say I ain't really worried, keep them niggas in their place Hello, I'm Shifty. I'm a Brooklyn-based turntablist, DJ, producer, coffee drinker, gentleman, scholar, bad boy. And my whole life has really revolved around samples. Uh, when I came out the womb, doctor slapped me on my behind, and I was like, that'd be a great snare for my rap song. Doc, you're amazing. Uh, for me, uh, a sample isn't a static object, but it's something that's alive. It's something that's expressive. Um, that I can use to manipulate with my gear to create all kinds of different sonic textures and emotions and feelings, single drops of tears, a look into your childhood, all with samples. So to show you what I mean, let's look at my live performance for the song Go Preemie, vocals from Supreme Inc. And let's, let's check it out. So let me introduce you to my samples. Uh, as far as my performances go, this is one of the simpler ones. I'm really, depending on how you look at it, only using seven samples uh, for the whole thing. So first up, we have some percussion noises. They're on the tractor control Z2. They're standing seven feet from Georgetown. They're imposing and powerful, yet they have finesse. So I'm just launching them with the pads, and this is hooked up to Tractor, and I'm launching these one-shot samples uh, from the remix decks of Tractor. Then on the two turntables here, I actually have the same track loaded in, and there are only three sounds that I'm working with uh, on, on each deck. I have a go, a kick, and a snare. Same thing over here. Controlling them with these pads, but then also controlling them with the records and tractor. So I can take the go. And get all kinds of textures out of it. Or I could take the kick. Or I could use the two together. And that's all making a full beat, really just from those three samples on each deck and getting the extra kind of manipulation options via the turntables and tractor. Last but not least, we have the keys over here. And I'm actually in Ableton. Rather than use like a VST, like a synthesizer that I'm playing live, that can be really CPU heavy. It can place a lot of load on your computer. Um, so what I do, and this is a tip I picked up from my buddy, Mr. Clean, AKA Inferno, and what I do is every note that I use in the performance, I bounce individually as audio, and then I drop each note into a drum rack where the key corresponds to that note. So that's not a note of a synth, if you, if you follow me, but I'm launching a sample, which is the same note. Uh, and I sort of, I, I, I cheat a little bit, and if there's a note that I'm not using for the particular performance, I'll just leave it out. So for instance, G is in like an existential crisis right now. It doesn't know what it is, who it is, what it is, does it exist? I have no idea. Uh, but F sharp is like, yeah, let's, let's do F sharp. I'm F sharp. I know who I am. Um, I also have here on the keyboard um, a filter to add a little bit more expressiveness. And all, so all those different textures, just from three samples here, three samples on the decks, and then the same synth bounced to different notes, and I can get a full kind of song going. As far as how I put these performances together, what I do is I first I look at uh, the track as I produce it, and I think about how could I perform a part of that track in an interesting way during each part. 
And so I'm thinking about a few things. One, I want, sometimes I want the audience to understand what's happening. So if I'm over here and I hit that and a noise happens, it's easy to understand. But I also want the performances to be dynamic. So sometimes I'm over here, then I jump over here, then I jump over there. Um, so that it's not just someone like, kind of like typing and fiddling uh, alone in a, in a cubicle, but it's like a glorious thing with a lot of gear. Um, so there, so there you have it. It's 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 not super crazy. You, like I did this with my own original track, but you could do this for you know a DJ set, for a live mashup, for a remix. Um, you could do it for your bar mitzvah if you wanted to. If if it's about to be that year for you, if you're taking a big trip, this could be a part of it in some way. You probably wouldn't get through airport security, but you know you gotta you gotta represent yourself well. So that's it. Those are my those are my samples, and here's how I put them all together. So you can really use this in all kinds of situations. I only had really seven samples here, and using that uh, and my own production, I could turn that into a, an engaging performance. You can get all these samples and more in my Splice Pack, New Bap, and Beyond. But I, I, did, I did forget one thing. I'm sure you're wondering, how, how do you make your head so big? It's very easy. You just think of a hot air balloon, and, and you just... Thank <laughs> you.